Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Son. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Father, I tell you thank you for the wonderful day. I tell you thank you for allowing me to see this day for the gift of life. I gave you all of the glory. I gave you all honor. All power belongs to you. I say thank you, Lord, Father. Thank you, Jesus, for your presence, for your gifts upon my life. I bless your holy name for my household, for my family. I say thank you, Lord, for my Facebook viewers. Father, I say thank you. I exhort you. I give you all the praise, all honor, all power belong to you. I say thank you for the body of Christ. I say thank you, Lord. I exhort you, O Lord, King of glory. The I am that I am Yahweh, my Father, my King, my Deliverer, my Savior. I exhort thee. I gave you all of the glory. I say thank you, O Lord, the life giver. I say thank you, my protector, my provider. I exhort thee, Father. Thank you, Jesus, for your blessing, your many blessings, for your glory upon my life, Father. I say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Son. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I want to greet my Facebook friends and family and also my brothers and sisters from Princess Valencia Ministry. Their Facebook live is intended to celebrate my woman of God, Belema Abili. Give honor to who honor is due. Give honor to who honor is due. I want to give Belema Abili her flower while she's still alive. I want to appreciate her for all she has done for me and my household. It's intended, Facebook Live is intended to celebrate my woman of God and to also return the glory to testify about the goodness of God upon my life. Okay, family, your friends, I'm not worshiping her. I'm not worshiping him or me. I'm just giving her honor while she's still around and to appreciate her for all God has used her to do for me. Woman of God, Belema Billy. I want to say thank you. Thank you. Mama Grace, thank you. God, General, thank you for all God has used you to do for me and my household. I bless you, Mama Grace. I appreciate you. I tell God, thank you for your life. I thank God for attaching me to your ministry. I thank God for directing me to your ministry, Mama Grace. Belema Abili. And thanks to Princess Belemsi Ministry for everything. The video is intended to celebrate my woman of God and to also testify for all the ministry has done for me, for all Belema Abili has done for me since my journey with Christ. First of all, I will start by saying I got in contact with this woman of God. I got encounter with Prince Belasi Ministry when my whole world was upside down. Things were crazy around me. I was frustrated in a very dark place, a very bad place. I was in my re relationship with my husband for 10 years. We were in relationship for 10 years. Fornicating, but I used to be the one that loved God, but I never had a relationship with him. I knew nothing about him, but I just knew like going to church is the right thing, loving God is the right thing, but I wasn't doing it the right way. 
So me and my guy, we're just having fun. Trying to do our best, going to church, doing the normal, doing the regular. So we decided to get married because we were fornicating. So I said, and I talked to him, I said, honey, we need to make it right. And we came to the agreement to make it right. We're already nine years or ten years in a relationship. So we decided to make it right. We got married. Within six months, the marriage scatter broke up. Within six months, marriage broke up, marriage scatter. Remember now, I was in the relationship for nine to ten years. I put my all into it. I used to love him, yeah? I love him, my husband. I put my all into it. If a woman decides to marry a man, which means that's the one she loves, is the one she really wants to stay with. But after I got married to this guy, within six months, things went worse. Like I never knew him. Like I was a stranger, a total stranger. That's when my, my war went upside down. Everything went upside down for me. I was confused, I was disturbed. I was frustrated. He messed up. Instead of making it right, he left me my frustration and walked away. Went about doing his own thing. So I already just stayed and frustrated. I never knew how to do it. No one could help me. The family couldn't help me because it was disgraceful. You know, in your African community, when you marry, like, the one you're married, they expect your marriage to be successful. Now, for it to scatter in the cost six, six months, that's disgrace. Now for you to broke up with the guy within six months and the guy just walk away, it's a disgrace. And it was a big wedding. It was a big wedding. I had 400, almost 400 person at my wedding. The, almost the whole community was there. So you can imagine that kind of marriage and when you broke up in public, your name gonna go. And African people, our librarian know how to carry bad news. My name was everywhere. They took out of me, they got here by me. And I'm a shy person. That's why I carry myself with respect and dignity. But at that point, I couldn't control anything. I couldn't handle anything. Because I, I could be able to control myself, know how to keep myself around, but I can't control my partner. I'm not with him, wherever he goes. So I had to deal with that disgrace. How did I deal with him? First, I had different thoughts coming to me. Pray to God, God will help you. Then I had another thought coming to me. Why can't you pay back? Go in the street, sleep with every man, and hurt him back. But I said, no, that would be wrong. I'll be, I'll be doing it to myself. Let me seek God. I decided to seek God. In my closet, in my room, everybody left me. Family couldn't help me. Friends couldn't help me. Church couldn't help me. Everyone disappointed me at that time when I needed them. So I decided to seek God. In my closet, I just had to pray to him. Father, if he exists, we need to have a talk. I need you to speak to me. I want to know you exist. I want to know you care about me. Yes. I had so many questions. Because it was disgraceful. Whatever that happened to me, it was ugly and disgraceful. I'm not going to do this, but it was ugly and disgraceful. So I began to see God, see God, pray to Him. Until one day I was sitting, a friend of mine inboxed me with a woman, I got a video. But it might be the video. I started watching her. The first day I watched her, oh my God, it was something else. I was vibrating with power with the Holy Ghost. And from there, I just got whole cover. I just saw myself watching, watching, watching the video. When she had her first birthday party, she on Facebook were nice in the inviting people to go for the party. I didn't want her to go. Because I was like, ah, she's a Facebook preacher. Sure. She could be fake. Do I need help? But I don't want to mess with the wrong person. I don't want to end up to the wrong place. Do I need help? But I don't want to end up to the wrong place. So I started judging myself. Should I go for her birthday party? Nah, I don't think so. Then I hear the voice loud and clear. Go. Go and meet your sister. She's your sister. I will use you mightily, just like her. 
go and meet your sister. And the breath they were in like it was in like two, three days. When I heard that voice, go and meet your sister. So I started making phone calls all around, trying to get my ticket, put things together. That was how I went for the I went for the program. It was successful, it was beautiful. Power pack. Yep. So my hair broke a loop, broke loose on me. Because of marital problems, I encountered a mother girl. She was a ministry. I was able to forgive my husband. We fixed things. So I can say, first testimony, my marriage got restored. And at a certain point, I was trying to have another baby. We're trying to conceive. We did all that we could do. But baby was still coming. I even went as far as seeing doctor. Oh, you know, it was nothing was working, so I will say my second testimony. Through her ministry, I got the food of the womb. After trying in seven years, I got the food of the womb. Through her ministry, I begin to love God. Through her ministry, I begin to love God. Because I used to be like the kind of person that when I go to church, I only used to wait. For church to be over, then I do a photo shoot. I couldn't wait. I only used to go to the church to look beautiful and do photo shoot. Usually, when I used to go to church, I go like hour late because I have to look good. Yeah, that's how it used to be. I used to go to church, couldn't wait for church to be over and do my photo shoot and put on Facebook. Happy Sunday, guys. Church was great. But if you ask me what the pastor preached about, I knew nothing. What was said today, I knew nothing. How did God talk to you today through the message? I knew nothing. All I, all I knew, I was in church. All I knew, I was going to church, occupying seats. Now I knew going to church was different from like having relationship with God. It's different from having a personal relationship with God. I never had personal relationship with Him. I just used to go to church and occupy seats. But through the lady ministry, I built a stronger relationship with God, a good relationship with Him. When I started hearing Him, and He started hearing me, and so in my prayers, through a ministry, I started reading my Bible. I never used to read my Bible, it was just there. I started reading my Bible, understanding it, because reading the Bible is another thing. Getting the understanding. It's another thing too. Through her ministry, I started reading my Bible, building a good relationship with my father, loving my father more. I drew closer to him. Life started making sense. I started understanding my purpose. Remember now, I've been in church since baby. I go in her ministry when I was like 37, three years ago, almost three years. Since I've been in her ministry. No, I read my Bible. When I used to read, maybe Psalm 20, Psalm 20, Psalm 91. I used to open the Bible and put it, <laughs> put the Bible at my bare head. Yeah, that's 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 how it works. But through a ministry, I began to read my Bible, understand what I was reading. Holy Spirit started helping me how to understand what I read in the Bible. I got filled with the Holy Ghost. I started praying more. I started praying more. I started wanting more. It never enough for me. It never enough. It never enough. I always want more. I'm always hungry for more. I always want to do more for God. 
I was praying, I was praying, still it's not enough. It was true on ministry and God that. Back then, no, I never had any relationship with God. Usually when I used to get in problem, we had a couple of friends back home in Liberia, family members. We used to call them and tell them, girl, like I'm going through this, I don't know what to do, and we'll recommend prophets. We try a lot of prophets from back on here. It didn't work. The more they pray, the more problem became worse. The more they pray, the more problem became worse for me. And they will ask for so many things to do a fast for you. But through the ministry, I can tell you, I became my own prophet. Why I can fast and pray? Because she bring up fast every time. Every time fast come up, three day drop, seven day drop, twelve day fast. We fast almost every time. With her ministry, you'll be on fire every day. Your fire won't go down. So through her ministry, I became my own prophet. I hear God for myself, and God hear me. I fast for myself. I read my own Bible. I became my own pastor. That's why I'm very comfortable in the ministry. I'm very, very comfortable. Because she's just like a mentor. Her ministry is like a spiritual school. She's not holding on to you. No. She's not trying to hold on to you. She only wants you to grow. She only pour out instructions. If you want to follow, good for you. And when I started watching her, I told you my, like everything around me was down i was looking for answers as soon as i started watching her, i heard the voice of god telling me stay with her don't leave until i tell you to leave and from the time i started watching her till now life making sense i'm understanding a lot of things i got delivered from household enemies household witches people that i used to love that were very close to me that i did everything for they were the one killing me They were the one killing me. Through a ministry, I became my own prophet. I get to find out things. I knew spiritual things. I understood a lot of things about God. I got more closer to God. And I begin to experience the love of God. Yeah. I begin to experience his love for me. And now in my mind, I will tell you, say, I'm a favorite child. He loved me so much. Because I got, I was so bad off until to a point, I just wanted to end my life. I didn't want to be around because I'm the kind of person I can't take disgrace. I hate shame. And he told me, no, you're not going on anywhere. You will stay. I will change your life. You will work for me. I'll give you life. Yes, my brothers and sisters. At my lowest time, my lowest moment, God send this lady in my way. Lois. My Facebook family and friends was in there. Mother was in there. Brother was in there. Sister was in there. Husband ran. Husband ran away from your own mess. Leave me the D-way. Nobody was there. So God had to direct me to her ministry. Through her ministry, life started making sense. I started healing from that frustration. I started getting more comfortable within myself. When I joined ministry, first thing God did for me, He gave me peace. Peace of mind and rest. And another thing, I'll tell you guys, her ministry, oh my God, it's so much fun. When she organized the Holy Ghost encounter, we go there, oh my God. We are the celebrities. Yes. She tell us, look your best. And me, I love to look my best. She tell us, look your best. Come here and show up for Jesus. People think nothing good happened for Jesus. People think when you're a Christian, you're supposed to look dirty. You're supposed to be in a closet. You're supposed to be raggy. She added class to Christianity. So when I joined her ministry, I got so busy. We're visiting all the Holy Ghost in Canto. I think that's one thing that, that even took my mind off the frustration. 
that one thing that even helped me to heal. I begin to move from one Holy Ghost encounter to another Holy Ghost encounter, showing up, bluffing, until I forgot my problem. <laughs> and I got peace. Nancy, now you the girl was checking me on pictures. As soon as we make up, you were like, so where you be going? I see you playing all the time from place to place. I said, playing well. <laughs> yeah. So much fun in the ministry. So much fun. So much fun. Time to play, we play. When it's time to be serious, we are serious. We look so beautiful. With the glory of God upon us, all shining and looking good. But don't let that fool you. You try us. You will receive fire. We talk with fire. We pray with fire. We are filled with the Holy Ghost. It's a Holy Ghost filled ministry. My life wasn't better when I met her. My life was messy. I was at the point of giving up. I was at the point of giving up. When I met this woman of God. And through her ministry, I got healed from that frustration. Through her ministry, I was able to forgive my husband and take him back. Through her ministry, I was able to conceive again after seven years of trying. I was able to get another baby. Through her ministry, I love God. Nothing can separate me from God right now. I even encouraged my niece to start watching the ministry. She was a little shaky because, you know, they got some demons everywhere in the corner trying to describe. She was a little shaky. I told my niece, I said, look at me. Look at my foot. You close out of me. Don't look at the woman again. Look at my foot. Are you proud of me? Do you love who I have become? She said, yes, auntie, I am proud of you. I love the new you. I said, but then, take it from there. If she was evil, I wouldn't be like this. And because of her, I tend to be a good person. Because of her teaching and the prayers that she offered, I become who I am today. I used to be a hard tempered person when I get mad, I mess everything up. I would be on my own red, but when I get mad, I would end up making my own red thing wrong. And she saw that change in me. My niece saw that change in me. She said, Yeah, Auntie, you change. You does not get mad anymore. You get too calm. You get too calm. What happened? I said, Okay, that's what I'm telling you. That's the example. That she's a good person. She's from God. Get connected. You need help. Get connected and get help. See my fruits. I know my fruits are carry. Okay? And people that are closer to me, they know the fruits are carry. So if you're going to judge my woman of God, check me out. If she's messy, she's not good. She's not good. I'm supposed to be messy. But I'm not messy. I'm strict. Very focused, smart, sound mind. Through her ministry, her spirit of anger left. Through her ministry, her spirit of anger left. I got peace. Before, I used to tell people, if you try me, I would give you the order, maybe. People knew I had two. The one I would tell you anything, treat you anyhow. And the one I want to be nice. But through our ministry, it's only one maybe existing. The one that is filled with the Holy Ghost and power. The one that carry love. The one that want to talk about Jesus. The one that love God. The one that love people. The one, the ones that want to spread the word. The one that want to bring people to Christ. I'm not in the street. I don't prostitute. I don't drink liquor. I don't do hookah. I'm not in bar. I don't have a group of friends. Only family. And through the ministry, I met a sister. I, became, I met a friend, I became a sister. Helena Howard. She been very good to me. She been more than a sister to me through this ministry. She been more than a sister. A sister that I never had. That was heading somewhere God connected me to. And she was my first roommate for the first Holy Ghost encounter. Woman of God, first birthday party. She was my, my roommate. That my roommate became my friend. And now she turned into sister. We now live close by. 
So I go out and say so through the ministry. I don't have a group of friends. I'm not in nothing. I don't want to be in nothing. Because it will take me away from God. I just want to love God. I just want to spend more time with Him. I know what people have a saying. I want librarians and African. Know God for yourself. Not everybody will know God for themselves. Some people go out to send people their way to pull them out. Some people are dying. Go out to send somebody to go and, and counsel them, to go and talk to them, to go and evangelize. They are at the point of taking their life. If no one go to them, how will they know God? How will they be saved? How? How will they be saved? How will they be saved? Somebody have to go to them. God will have to send someone to them. I was at that point. I was going, going to church, but I never knew the meaning of church. I never knew the meaning of Christ. I had no relationship with him. I was at the age of 37 when I joined a ministry. So you can remember, you can imagine same birth to 37, I was in church. But I wasn't useful. I had no relationship with my Heavenly Father. Through a ministry, I have a relationship with my Father. Personal one too. A very good one. She doesn't hold on to people. She doesn't draw people to herself. She just wants you to love God. She just wants to help you to hear Him. How can you say you are Christian when you have no relationship with God? How can you say you are a child of God when you don't even hear your own father? She doesn't want to, she, she doesn't want to talk to your father for you. She always says, oh, go and talk to him. He want to hear from you too, Neville. Me and you have the same father. How will it look like well, I'm the only one who always going to him to talk for you? Your father want to hear from you too, Neville. Go in your closet. Pray to him. Talk to him. Build an intimate relationship with the Holy Ghost. That's what she teaches us. Build an intimate relationship with the Holy Ghost. And with that teaching, I have an intimate relationship with the Holy Spirit. And through the Holy Spirit today, I know my purpose. I know who I am. I know who God called me to be. I am not who the world say I am. I am not who the haters say I am. I am not who my enemies say I am. The hypocrites. No, I am who God say I am. And you always tell me I'm a princess. You love me. He loves me. But you have to take this woman of God to help me through the process. The place I was, go had to send somebody. She didn't walk to my house. Thank God for social media and networking. Someone invites me the video, but I believe that we're all God putting things together to draw me to him. And I believe whatever that happened to me in my marriage, it happened because God wanted me closer to him. Because as soon as I got closer to him, life started making sense. Everything around me started making sense. Now I don't really get mad at anything. I forgave a lot. I let a lot of things go. God had to send my Moses. God had to send my Noah. God had to send the woman to God, but my baby. My mom couldn't help me. No family member could help me. No family member. I was frustrated. I was downhearted. Labyrinth people. Choo, 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 choo. They ain't helping you. They won't tear you down. Quit to carry bad news. That's the state I was in when I went, met the woman of God. When I got in contact with the with Prince Ebelesi ministry. So as I said, this video from the beginning, I said, this video is intended to celebrate my woman of God. Better my ability. 
Princess Belemsi Ministry. Because I know where I was and where I am now. If she doesn't carry God, she couldn't be able to pull me out of that hole, that pit I was in. So I believe she carried God. I believe she's from God. So I want to take their time, mommy. Belema Abili, Mama Grace, God, General, General of our time. I want to take their time to celebrate you, Monica, to tell you thank you. I can't pay you all. I can't pay you for all you have done for me. But every day in my closet, I pray to God. And I tell him thank you every day for sending you my way. For connecting me to your ministry. Thank you, woman of God. Thank you. I appreciate you. I celebrate you for everything God has used to do for me. And I want to take this time to tell God thank you. The Almighty Father, thank you. The I am that I am, thank you for a, his unconditional love upon my life. Thank you, Father. Without you, it couldn't happen. Father, I am here to testify about your goodness. I am here to testify about your goodness. I am also here to tell the world what you have used your daughter to do for me. You have used her to do so much for me that I can't even remember to say all now. I am here to return the glory to you, Lord. And to also celebrate my woman of God. That I'm a I can never forget you in my lifetime. Never. I've been in so many churches. I've been serving God from youth until I was 37 when I met you three years ago. Church didn't make sense. Christ didn't make sense. I never knew my purpose. But through your ministry, I know my purpose. I know who I am today. Because God called you, because you came my way. Thank you, woman of God. I love you. I appreciate you. I bless God for your life. And I say more grace, more power, more anointing come upon you, mommy. More anointing come upon your life, mommy. I ask and pray that I have God use you to change my life and to join, him, join me closer to him. I ask may God use you the same way to bring many to him, to draw many closer to him. Many doesn't understand the purpose. They don't know you. They just want to question you. For me, woman of God, I know what God tells me every day about you. And I know what he tells me about me and who he is. So no one can disconnect me. Until when it is gone, time for me to leave. Thank you, Jesus, for your servant. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, to the ministry and to the Holy Ghost. I carry power. I even done a couple of deliverance. Yep, a couple of deliverance. Demons manifested. Father, thank you. It had to take you to condemn me to her because of the love you have for me, because of your love upon my life. I almost died. I almost ended all. But you helped me with your mighty hands and put me in the right place where I could grow to know you and to love you. It was crazy. It was crazy. But today I'm filled with joy very confident within myself. Nothing can shake me, nothing can move me. And right now, what matter, what matter in my life right now is making heaven. Nothing else. Making heaven. Through washing her, because usually when I wash her, I allow my kids to wash along with me. My older daughter can hear from God. My older daughter hear from God. She loves God. Wherever she goes, she tells her friends about God. She evangelizes, I can say. My household, everybody loves God. I brought my sisters in. 
they all moving in power they all love god but my cousin everybody moving in power in the love of god they are filled with the holy ghost very sensitive in the spirit it won't happen because god sent you our way woman of god so i want to take this time to say thank you and to appreciate you for everything thank you the god of belema thank you belema i believe thank you thanks to princess valency ministry i'm very confident in myself very confident i wasn't like that some mind very focused But you had to take someone. God had to send someone my way to help me. Get closer to him. Love him. So Father, I'm here to return the glory. And to celebrate my woman of God. Woman of God, I celebrate you today. I've been your ministry almost three years. And a lot of happened for me and my family. A lot of happened. Most of the time, I don't testify. I am camera shy too. I don't like you too much commenting. Mm -mm. But I'm very connected, mommy. Very. I'm always on. If I'm not on, I'll watch later. Very connected. And that's why I'm growing fast. I am very connected. It's been two years. I haven't celebrated. I haven't said thank you. The video is purposely to say thank you. To celebrate you. For all God has used you to do for me. Every day I tell my father thank you. Every day I celebrate my father in my closet. Every day. So that's another topic. Today on our topic is celebrating the woman of God. God, Geneva. Belema Abili. Princess Valenti. Mama Grace. Warrior. Brutal one too. And all her children take it right after her. They are so brutal. <laughs> thank you, mommy. I appreciate you, mommy. I bless God for you. I say thank you. Thank you. May the blessing of God come upon your household. May your son Marco take after you. May he do what you didn't do. In the name of Jesus. May heaven remember you today, Father. May heaven remember you today, woman of God. May your enemy bow before you, woman of God. And one thing, woman of God, I tap into you, your grace of hard working. Woman of God, you, you work hard. You work too much. I be the hard you do it. Very hard working. Very hard working. I haven't seen a woman like that. You very hard working. Very hard working. I tap into that grace with me. I'm not hard working like you. I am, but when I see you now, nah, you are very hardworking. And I tap into that grace and I bless God for you. I appreciate you for all you're doing for the body of Christ, for the kingdom of God, for all the many souls that you are winning. I say thank you. For all you're doing for the kingdom of God, woman of God, I say thank you. I celebrate you. I celebrate you. I say more grace, more grace, more grace, more grace, more grace. May your enemy bow before you in the name of Jesus. Every pit they do for you, mommy, may they fall into their own pit in the name of Jesus. Yes, the ministry may it grow to another level beyond your imagination in the name of Jesus. Thank you, woman of God. Thank you, Jesus. I want to take this time to encourage my viewers to get very close to God. Very close to Him, especially this end time. Love doesn't make sense without Jesus. Love doesn't make sense without Jesus. There is no life. You think you are enjoying? You think everything is working? Cheer our Jesus to us. He's like the sugar to the tea. You will love your life. It will make more sense. It happened for me. I can testify to it. And it can happen for you. 
Just add Jesus to your life. So I want to encourage my faithful family and friends to get closer to God, to get very connected to any church that they're in, any pastor, any prophet they are connected to. Let them get, you get very connected because this is the end time. We are in the end time. Ain't gonna get better, guys. Ain't gonna get better, guys. It's not gonna get better. It's gonna get. It's gonna keep getting worse. But once I have Jesus, what do I care? Death doesn't fear me. I just feel happy every day. I'm just filled with joy and peace from heaven. Once you have God. Nothing moves you. Get connected to your pastor. Very connected. If you are in a church, if you have a pastor, get closer. Get really connected. If not, I want to take this time and give you an invitation to visit our ministry. Visit the Woman of God ministry, Prince Belen ministry. I want to take this time to encourage you to join the ministry. Because truly ministry my life changed. Through the ministry, I build a relationship with my father. Through meeting the woman of God, my life became better, my life changed. So I want to take this time to encourage my viewers to come and check us out. Come and learn how to fast. Learn how to pray. Learn how to rap a zuka digi 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 la ba don't take a ba zika la ba don't digi. That's how we do it. That's how we move with fire. Robot zuka digi ba raka don't take a ba santa. I can take a ba zuka digi ba robot. I want to take this time to invite every one of you to come and check the ministry out, to get connected, because as I said, this is the end time. You're gonna get better if you're in a church. As you get connected to the church, be more connected to God and get connected to the church and the pastor. Okay? If you don't have a church, you're not connected to nothing. Get connected to Prince of Blessing Ministry. It is free of charge. We don't charge. The only thing when you come there, you go through some discipline with fasting, a lot of fasting, a lot of praying. You got to have to bring up, but you got to get filled with the Holy Ghost. You got to cry a lot because you got to confess all your sins. <laughs> you got to talk it out with your father, all the past sins that you did. And start new things with him. Okay, I want to take this time to get invitation out to all my viewers. <laughs> yeah, so... Come and check us out. John Prince and Blessing Ministry. Get connected. If you are not connected, we don't force people home. We are very content with ourselves. But again, it's Christ. We got to share him to people. We got to give him out. It's our mission to win souls for Christ, to bring people to God. So I'd like to take this time to encourage you to get connected to our ministry if you don't have one. Okay? Stay blessed. Be blessed. I'm going to wrap it up now. But before I leave, I would like to offer a prayer to my viewers. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I submit everyone into your hands. Father, you know them better in the way that I do. Visit them individually in the name of Jesus. To us that are crying, weeping day and night, sharing tears, I ask that you go and wet their tears and give them the meaning of life. In the name of Jesus. Those that are hungry, seeking you like the way I used to be. Dying to meet you to speak to you. Father, ask me, you reach to them in the name of Jesus. And whatever prayer request they, ask, they have, Father, I ask, may you answer them according to your way for them in the mighty name of Jesus. Be blessed. Stay safe. In Jesus' name. Amen. Bye-bye.